so continuing with the Wet n Wild palettes, I purchased one, I think it was like two days ago, that caught my attention. It's the Blue Had Me at Hello palette, this one right here. Um, the look I'm going to create is using these, co these colors right here on this side right here. I will do this side in another video tutorial, but I'll be using, I'll be using this side for right now, for this look right here. Very dramatic yet again, um, but I do promise to bring more neutral looks, maybe tomorrow. But for now, let's... <laughs> I just like dramatic looks, I don't know. Since I really can't go out in public like so, but let's get started. I already um, prepped and primed my eye, and uh, I'm going to start using this color right here. It's like a soft, mm, sea foam kind of green for the um, brow bone, but what I did was use this whole color for the whole entire lid, in the corner right above to the brow bone, all over the lid, just like a quick little wash all over the eye. So I start right here in the inner corner, bring it up to the brow bone, like so, and then bring it down all over the eyelid. Now with a flat brush like so, I'm going to take the teal color for the eyelid and pack it onto the brush and pack it on to the whole entire lid of my eye. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Just try to avoid uh, the inner corner. You don't want to cover it up with the cut. So now that I've applied all the teal color all over the eyelid, I'm going to move on to the crease color. It's a very nice shimmery blue here. Uh, right there. Got to see a little over my finger. Anyways, grab a small brush, enough to fit in your crease area. Pack the color on to the brush. And then we're going to go across the crease above the teal color. So, you're really going to work with this color because as you can see here, it's here and then right here I defined it more with the uh, sparkly black color. So you're going to have to go slowly and surely with layer upon layer of this uh, blue color. Now with a fluffy brush like so. You want to grab that sparkly black color at the very end of this side of the palette, this one right here. And you want to grab a little bit on the edge of the brush, like so. And then define that corner right there. The soft strokes. Bringing it into the teal and the blue. Now with a big fluffy brush like so, I'm going to grab some of that sea foamy green color, the, the brow bone color, and just blend out and smooth out this harshness right here that I have right with the blue and that sparkly black meat, and then blend it like a crazy version. Blend, blend, blend. Now with a blue pencil eyeliner from NYC. I'm going to align the right right under the waterline, your bottom lid. Keeping it dark on the far right, my right corner. And then giving little strokes of the blue right under the lid. Black eyeliner of choice and put it in your waterline. Lightly from the inner corner and you make it go darker right in the outer part of the line, waterline. I'm um, using liquid eyeliner, creating a winged effect. It's like very thick towards the end. Okay, and then um, once you've done that, Go ahead, eh, go ahead, I can't talk right now, <laughs> and add any false, slash, false lashes of your choice. 
Um, these are just these big flirty ones from the same company I got from Walgreens. These ones right here. I'm not sure what number they are. I believe they're 21 if I'm not mistaken. The salon's best, is it? It's not perfect. My bad. Anything dramatic just to go along with the look. And I'll be right back moving on to cheeks and then finally lips. And the final look. Stay tuned. So, finished with the eyes. And now I'm going to move on with the lips. Now, the lips, I'm keeping it neutral. I tried out a pink one, but it gave mixed signals with the eyes where it shouted out more of my lips in my eyes and just left this whole area like blah if that makes any sense whatever anyways so I'm gonna go with this neutral nude lips so I'm using 902 C from Wet n Wild a very nude skin tone matte lipstick all over the lips like so and then right on top is a new um, lipstick that I bought from CoverGirl, and it's called Romance. It's new with a little bit of shimmer. It's really pretty. And very creamy. Like so. And for the cheeks, I am using from NYC in Riverside Rose. I invested in some blushes this weekend so I, my blush, blush collection can grow. <laughs> so it's like right here is to give a little bit of rosiness to my cheek because normally in my makeup looks, I tend to have my eyes do the talking, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. A little bit in the middle area like you need to just, because it's a very neutral type of blush as well, so you don't, it doesn't like show too much. So yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And leave comments and give a thumbs up if you can. And uh, stay tuned for more videos of Dark and Glamour. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a great one. Bye. Go, 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 go. Watch me go, 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 go. Now I'm gone in your photograph. I bet you wish you could get me back. Get me back. Now I'm stuck in your middle.